getting ready to go green here at CIS. A pace car brings it on in. Noah Hart is going to have the pole with Matthew Rodriguez. This race is going to be 20 laps. Very short, but the championship is on our hands here. With five races to go now, four after this one. Hart and Rodriguez takes us to the green. Down the back straightaway for the first time here today. Noah Hart, Michael White, who wrecked and had engine failures at Decatur. Really, they're now 100 points back to the point leader. Both of them are. And that's Nick Mays. So I can say stick a fork in both Michael White and Noah Hart for the championship. But PJ Williams, fifth in the standings. He's a race and a half back from the point leader. I say he is still realistically in this shot for the championship. Nick Mays. Eugene Max, Ian Dutta, Richard Johnson, PJ Williams, Matthew Rodriguez, Luke Martin, Zayden Davison, and DJ Curtis are all within a race and a half behind each other. And there goes Chris Washer along with Matthew Rodriguez. I think no, Matthew Rodriguez saved it, but Washer did not. Him and Luke Martin are up in there. Martin, he's seventh in the standings. His championship hopes are probably done. Right here, you're going to see right here, slow mo it here. The Oh boy, the 17 went up the middle. Five was there, and so was the night 29. There was no room for him there. Rodriguez's championship hopes nearly went up in smokes there. He was lucky to keep it straight. But Washer, who came into this race 11th in the standings, 93 points down. I, I His hopes are officially done for this title. Martin's hopes, you probably can stick a fork in it now. A race snap back coming in. He's probably going to be about two and, two and a half races back now. Martin's hopes of a title probably is done. This is part of that season where you start sticking the fork in guys and eliminating guys from the championship. Luke Martin, the number 18, came to this race, 7th in the standings, a race and a half behind, and was realistically in the fight for this title, and now he's pretty much done for the title. Michael White is done for this title pretty much realistically, and Jesse Turner is um kind of having some troubles, um, I guess you can say. Blowing up in the grass area there. But Jonathan Skavnik, he right now has the lead. Right here, this guy right here, Nick Mace. He's the point leader coming in this race, and he's trying to extend his point lead over to Max. Max is eight points to the good <coughs> behind Nick Mace, and Max is pretty far back. Where is Demax, actually? Demax is really far back in the rear of the field. He's t down here around 23rd in the right now in the running and eighth or, or third in the standings is Ian Dutta who's really struggled in the second half of the season he's up here battling with the lead he's got a good shot of being uh, the second driver to win two titles as Richard Johnson he's fourth in the standings he's trying to get his third title he's the only guy to win two or more titles and Johnson he's on the inside working his way forward Johnson can smell a championship in his grasp right there as many of guys can. P.J. Williams right now in the lead. He could upset this thing and win the championship here. He's fifth in the, sta fifth in the standings, a race half behind. The top four are within a race back. P.J. Williams, fifth in the standings, is 64 points back, and I think I just saw a rack. Yes, we did. Down the back straightaway, there's Ryan Acosta, Tristan Woolhoyt, Brandon McGuirt spinning in the infield there. Brandon McGuirt's got a lot of damage there. Pace car is out. TJ Curtis, who is um, ninth in the standings, he's like right there on the borderline of being realistically in this fight. He really needs to do something here, and he gets the lead at the line. Looking here on Brandon McGuirt, as he was one of the guys that just went went around off that turn right there. Um. Oh no 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 no! Right there, Charles Sanford came up on Ryan Acosta. Acosta. Went up into the 23, Acosta went spinning around, McGuirt and Wilhoyt knew where to go but to pile into him there. So that's what happened there. So um, McGuirt, Acosta, and Wilhoyt's chances of trying to get a win here in, the, in CIS is done. Getting ready to go back green here. It is three guys up front here that is in the hunt for this title for this season. It is DJ Curtis, PJ Williams, and Richard Johnson. Matthew Rodriguez as well, and... 
Nick Mace is up there. That's the top five. Alan Cavanaro is um in the middle of it and all. But right here with only seven laps to go. You gotta make your move quick. Richard Johnson, like he's been doing the last few races, he's trying to get that win number 20, as he's always been trying to do. Back at Decatur, Matthew Rodriguez and Richard Johnson raced insanely hard for each other for that second spot. And they also raced really hard at Fairfield, and Matthew Rodriguez came out as the winner. <clears throat> but Nick Mace is there. He's right there on the corner panel. Three wide through the trial of Cavanaro. A non-championship contender. He's trying to win here. The Hart brothers on the inside. They're, they're four wide through the trioval. Noah Hart, Jacob Hart on the inside. They're working their way forward. They're not in the hunt for this title. Oh, boy. Side by side. Nearly three wide down the straightaway here. Noah Hart and Jacob Hart doing really well here together. The brothers 1-2 at the point so far. But PJ Williams, Ian Dada trying to make an upset here. Three wide for the lead, four wide for the lead now. Dada on the inside with only five to go here at the line. Any slip up by any of the contenders up here could end their championship hopes. But Williams is sliding up into Hart there, really close. Johnson Skavnicki, oh, Richard Johnson and Jacob Hart rubbed up together there. Oh, close, close, close. No, oh, boy, that was close there. But here comes James Thorfox into the fray now. He's up in the picture here, but his teammate Demax, the championship contender down the inside. Four wide for the lead at the finish line. This is shaping up to be a season 11 CIS finish here where Alex Allen, or not Alex Allen, but Andres Allen. And, um, I can't remember who the 32 was. Oh, boy, nearly a wreck there, as you saw. That was close there. There is a wreck right there. The 25, there's Ian Dutta back there. This is going to really help DJ Curtis. Richard Johnson's up here in this fray here. This is the race back to the finish line. And if we do not get restarted, we're going to have a green-white checkered here. Back to the start-finish line. Carpenter trying to lead it to the line. And it looks like we will have a green-white checkered. And Carpenter got it at the line. He beat and banged on Eric Burton there for that spot. Randy Carpenter gets it at the line over Eric Burton. DJ Curtis is in third. Oh, boy. There's Skavnicki, Chase Cravey, Michael White. Ryan Acosta, Noah Hart, who had a fast car, is involved. Alex Allen, James Sora Fox, he's up there battling for the lead. He's involved. Oh, boy. <clears throat> I don't see any of our contenders. There's Zayden Davison in the pits. Zayden Davison right there in the number 21. He's got a lot of damage, and he was running eighth in the point standings. A race and half behind. Did not need that whatsoever. And I don't see any more other guys. There's Jacob Hart and Sky Commons. They had a good car this race. But they was involved in it. There it is. The end up. Third in the standings. Did not really need that. Where is our point leader? Nick Mace. I've yet to see him. There he is right there. 10th right now. But it looks like right here. We are going to have a green-white checkered here to the finish. And only the guys that did. Uh, only, the only guys that are only on the lead lap will be able to finish this race. Well, guys, most of the time, um, we, we would end the race with Randy Carpenter as the winner. In many cases, scenarios, the way it would play out. Just like Richard Johnson could have won at Talladega, Carpenter could have won here, but we got a green light checker. Carpenter, Burton, Curtis, Fisher, the front two rows, two laps of racing to decide the winner. No cautions or nothing. The run to the checkers. Carpenter leads us down. Car uh, Curtis is not playing around. He goes the inside there. Curtis the inside with Johnson even lower there. Oh boy. This is going to be close racing here. Side by side down the back straightaway. Carpenter has, has no help. Here comes three and four of the contenders on the bottom side. Look at them guys. Oh boy. Really really close. There. Oh boy. There's a rack. Johnson's around. Curtis is around. They're all wrecking the leaders are around. Oh my goodness, and Rodriguez takes the lead as everyone's spinning behind. Wow, no cautions are either on these screen white checkers, and Rodriguez is looking like he's going to come away as the winner here, unless Jacob Mark can do anything here. 
That was a big wreck that involved a lot of guys off turns number four. That was a bad camera angle. I'm sorry there, but the run of the checkers. Ian Dunn, a third in the stand. He's like a Luke Martin had his troubles earlier. He's up there. Look at Jacob Bart here. Perry has a big run here side by side. 99 17. Roush Fenway boys side by side the line. Jacob Hart makes the pass off four. Hart's the winner. Jacob Hart wins here at <clears throat> CIS. Takes the win away from Matthew Rodriguez. They're off four. Wow. Where did he come from at all in that entire race? But to Max. Oh boy. Second in the points. He had a lot of big of opportunity to come away as a lot more points. Nick Mace, the points leader. 19th. He wrecked in that as well. Wait, 20th there. And Curtis comes across the line ahead of him in 19th there. Richard Johnson, 18th. Oh boy, that's going to be a big hit. Ian Dutta looks like he's going to walk away. No, Dutta. Dutta is not going to be the point leader. It's still going to be Nick Mace. But boy, oh boy, this man right here, Jacob Park, comes out of nowhere. Jacob Park out of nowhere to capture his third Sony Cup Series victory. Or capture his, um, let me see right here. <clears throat> nope, he captures his fourth win in the Sony Cup Series here today. A new winner of the season 14. Congratulations to Jacob Hart after coming out of nowhere for the win here at CIS. Let's get you to your finish results and standings after round number 16. With only four rounds to go after this one, get pumped, guys. I was doing my outro and everything, but I got a lot of blame from Talladega for not showing replay of what brought out the caution at the end of the race. Richard Johnson's going to hook Curtis right here. And also, Jacob Hart was turning Jordan Davis there. They was all getting aggressive here. Look at this right here. Down into the 24. And the 17 of Rodriguez also got a piece of that as well. And look at all these guys. Rodriguez got away with it. Burton was getting away there. <clears throat> but here comes Nick Mace and Randy Carpenter at Pi. They was piling in as well. And um, right here, Chase Cravey hits Nick Mace there. But everyone else was getting away with it fine. But look at that. The run to the white flag there. Everyone's scrambling for positions there. Oh, boy. So, tough luck for Demax, Curtis, and all these guys back here. James Shelley, Richard Johnson. But boy, oh, boy. This man right here in the number 99 had such a run, as you can see right here. Watch him right here get this humongous run and just go right by for the win. Well, that was the replay there. And again, I say congratulations to Jacob Hart on the win here today for his fourth career win in the Sony Cup Series. Let's get you to your finishing results now and the standings again.